First, we are going to talk about the different terminology. So we've got the tax terminology and we've got the accounting terminology. So remember, the topic here, deferred taxes, has to do with the fact that we essentially have two reporting systems. We've got the accounting reporting system, which is the way we report to our investors and the investment community as a whole. And then we've got the tax report, which we prepare in order to calculate the uh, amount of tax that we owe to the uh, taxing authorities, such as the HMRC here in the UK or the IRS in the US. So you basically have two separate reports and you're going to have terminology in both of those reports. And it's actually differences in those two reports that are going to be causing deferred taxes. So Let's take the uh, tax report as an example. Uh, we have the concept of taxable income. So this is the income after tax deductible expenses on which we are going to apply our tax rate in order to know how much tax we have to pay. Now, the corresponding item in the accounting report would be known as earnings before tax, EBT, or PBT, profit before tax, or pre-tax income, right? So this is just an accrual concept on the P&L. Then, again, going back to the tax report, remember we would take our taxable income and we're going to have to tax the taxable income and that's going to calculate our taxes payable. Remember, taxes payable is a tax concept and it refers to the amount of money that the taxing authority expects us to pay within the coming year. So that's our taxes payable. Now, the corresponding accrual based concept or PL based concept is income tax expense. And now, here I need to show you something. So there is a linkage between income tax expense and taxes payable, and that is this bottom equation. Okay, the two items are not going to be the same because this is a P&L item and it's based on accounting expenses, whereas this is a tax base item. Um, and that's exactly what the tax authority wants me to pay. So the two items will differ potentially and the difference will arise from deferred taxes. So what the, the, the correct formula here would be to add the change in the deferred tax liability and subtract the change in the deferred tax asset. So we're going to have a liability and we're going to have an asset, a deferred tax liability. In other words, a, a tax that is being uh, a tax uh, owed to the authority that is being deferred to the future, that's a deferred tax liability. So if I see that that's, that number is going up, that's probably bad for me, and I'm going to have to add it to my income tax expense. A deferred tax asset means that I'm going to have some sort of benefit or tax credit in the future. And of course, uh, if a deferred tax asset is rising, that's going to be good news for me, and that's going to reduce my income tax expense. But we are going to look at exactly why these things arise, and we're going to look at concrete examples of why these things arise in the current reading. For now, we're just kind of warming up with the terminology. Then we've got the tax base of an asset. So you've got a tax base of an asset or a liability, and this is simply the value of that asset to a liability that is used for tax purposes. So that's the, the value that the tax authority is looking at, whereas the balance sheet value of the asset or the liability is known as the carrying value, as you hopefully already know by this hour of our course. Uh, then we've got temporary and permanent differences. Now, most of the reading we're going to be spending time on the temporary differences because it's the temporary differences that are going to cause the deferred tax asset and the deferred tax liability. Permanent differences do not cause deferred taxes 
and therefore we don't have to worry about them that much in this particular reading, but we are going to have to worry about our temporary differences. And what is causing these temporary differences? Well, it's caused by differences in the financial report versus the tax report, um, and these differences are simply timing differences, and they are hopefully expected to reverse over the lie of the asset or the liability. 